Good day. Welcome to part one of building a house in Blender. Good stuff. So anyways, let's open up Blender. And uh, what we're going to do is actually we're going to keep our friend uh, the cube here. Uh, we're going to adjust him a little bit though. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uh, we need to make the three floors of our house. We're going to make a, we'll just say first floor, second floor, and third floor. So to do that, our first step is going to be to create just a standard floor. So let's go ahead then, click there. We're going to go to our scale tool. Okay, so we're going to scale that. Okay, so now we can adjust the size of our cube. So first thing is, let's just make her a little longer, a little wider. Okay, so there we go. Okay, about that. I'm actually going to shrink that up just a little bit. There we go. So now we've got a cube that extends pretty much for our whole grid. So that's what we wanted. Okay, our next step is this, is uh, we are going to go into edit mode, okay? So where it says here, right now we're in object mode, let's go to edit mode. Okay, now we can adjust that sort of object that we've been playing with, okay? So right now you can see the entire object is orange, so that means the whole thing is selected. Well, we need to deselect that, so we're going to press the, uh, the A key, that's going to deselect everything, okay? Uh, so I'm going to take just the top of this box off. So to do that, we're going to go to faces mode. Okay, so right now we're on vertices select mode, so you can see I can just click on individual uh, spots where lines meet. That's not what we want. Sorry. We're going to then go to uh, face select. Okay, so let's select this whole top face. So right now you can see just the top face should be orange like that, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to press the delete key. Now that's, the delete key is not the one uh, above our slash, but the one right above the sort of arrows on our keyboard. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're, it's going to give us some options. So we want to delete the vertices, edges, faces, all. Okay, actually just the face. Okay, the selected face. So there we go. So now we've got sort of a hollow box. Okay. All right, so that's going to be the standard template for our uh, different floors. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select this whole figure. Okay, first we've got to go to object mode. We've got to go back to object mode. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, we don't want to be duplicating these in edit mode. Uh, that's because if uh, I just create it so then all of the figures are linked. We don't want that. So where it says edit mode, we're going to go back to object mode. Okay. Whoa, zoomed a little bit too far out there. Okay, so there we go. We've got our hollow box. Good stuff. Uh, just to sort of get things ready, right now we're in scale mode. I'm going to send it to uh, just the uh, manipulator mode, okay? The translation as far as moving things. So now we've got our box selected. We're going to go to duplicate. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to do a little trick here. We, we don't want to move uh, our, our box or like our other floors left or right. We're not moving it along the x-axis or the y-axis, only the z-axis. We only want to go up. So to do that, we're going to press our duplicate key and then check this out. We're going to press our z key and that's going to lock it above the, it's going to lock it to just to move along the z-axis. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, so you can see I actually took her a little bit sort of just flowed down there a little bit. So let's just try to get it so it's like right about on there, right above that first floor, and there we go. We're going to click now. So now we've got two floors, one right on top of each other. That's what we want. Uh, however, though, we want to make a third floor. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to, again, uh, I'll select this, just this top floor then, excuse me, the second floor. And again, we're going to press our duplicate key press our Z key, and now we're just going to move that right above there. Okay, so our next step is going to be we want to separate our different floors. Okay, we want to make two different objects out of each of these, floors and walls. But first, though, we're going to name these different objects. So we've got right now, if you look at our objects, we've got cube, cube 001, cube 002. 
That's going to get confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename each of our objects so they make sense. So I'm going to, uh, let's see uh, here, left click, and you can see on uh, just cube, okay? So you can see then that it's the bottom floor or the first floor that's selected. So I'm going to then go ahead, I'm going to name this. So right here where it says, um, uh, just go to the, sort of the object properties, okay? It's going to be right there sort of the orange box box where it says cube we're gonna call this um, first floor and then we're gonna press return okay so now you can see that renamed it we go ahead click on cube dot zero zero one you can see that's gonna be that middle floor there that's our second floor and again we're gonna call that uh, second floor and then the same for our third okay third floor. Okay. Now, additionally, while we're sort of in this area over here, what we need to do is we need to, because we're going to be working with uh, just one floor at a time, we're going to hide, okay, the other, the floors we're not working with. So to do that, it's just like in GIMP with like our different layers. You see how we've got an eyeball. We've got eyeball, a, a, a cursor, and a camera. We're going to talk about the camera later, but for now, let's just hide our second and third floor. So I'm going to go ahead, click on that eyeball there, and the eyeball there, the eyeball that's next to second and third floor. So that means they're now hidden. So now, you can see we're just left with our first floor. I can reveal those other floors just by clicking on the eyes. There they are again. But now, this is where we want to be. Okay. In this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be separating uh, the sort of walls of this, this object from the sort of bottom. We're going to call this, it's going to be the walls and the floor for each of these different levels. So to do that, again, we want to make sure that first floor is selected. We're going to go into object mode. Uh, excuse me. We're going to switch from object mode to go to edit mode. Okay, so there we go. Um, just like how we did our maze and with our extrusions, what we're going to do is we are going to select the, this face here. It's going to be the bottom face. Okay, it's going to be our floor. So let's go ahead. We should have already been. We should be in just face select mode, and let's select that. So we just right click there. So now just that bottom part is selected. So now what we can do is I'm going to subdivide this. Well, actually, first I'm going to do something. Um, we are going to make a new, a separate object. Okay, we're going to take this face and make a sec a separate object from the walls. So let's go ahead then and uh, let's go to uh, let's press our P keys. So that's going to be just letter P on your keyboard, and that is going to separate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here where it says. This little menu came up here. So do I want to separate by selection, by material, by loose parts? We want to separate by selection. So now that is a, a different object. So let's go ahead then and where it says uh, uh, we're going to go switch back to object mode. And you can see now we have two different objects. Okay, we've got here we've got the um, the walls and the floor. So again, we're going to go ahead and rename these. So look to see which ones are which. So you can see here, that's the walls, that's the floor. So let's go ahead, let's rename these. So this is going to be first floor, uh, how about we'll say first walls, and then we can just call this one first floor. So we've got two separate things. We've got our wall and our floor. So that's good stuff. So again, Let's go back to object mode, excuse me, switch from object mode to edit mode. And we're going to make sure we're just on our floor there. Okay, so that's our floor. And we're going to go ahead here to uh, subdivide. I'm going to click a few times, once more, and one more time. So now we've got a nice situation where we can build our room. So let's go ahead then, I'm going to press my A key, and I'm going to just make some rooms really quick. So this is my first floor. So I'm going to have, I'm going to make a bedroom here. So you just go ahead, make just pretty much little boxes, and then um, 
to, to select multiple things, I just held my shift key down. Um, just make sure to include like doors so people can get into your different rooms. So just leave a block open. Let's make another sort of room over here. Let's make a funky one. So this is the big room. Okay, so let's go ahead. There we go. Really, it's just creative process. There's no right answer uh, with this. This is going to be a closet. <laughs> You know, something like that. So that's that's my first floor right there. So to, now I've got all those selected. Uh, I'm just going to just sort of go to the side here because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extrude these. So it says here, uh, I'm go to extrude. We want to do extrude region. Okay, whoops. Uh, there we go. Extrude region. And we're going to just bring those up so that they are flush with just sort of our walls. So there we go. So now we've got a very simple thing where uh, we've got our uh, kind of rooms for our first floor. So that's great. Okay, so now, hey, good stuff, Duder. Uh, let's switch back to object mode. And you can see that's sort of the basic part of that. Now we're going to go ahead here to our second floor and we're going to give that the same treatment. First though, let's hide our first floor. So let's hide level one, and now let's reveal uh, level two. So this is gonna be the same treatment. What we gotta do is, let's go to edit mode. We're gonna select the face, the bottom face, okay? Press our P key by selection, yes. And we're gonna rename our parts. So again, second floor is now going to be uh, walls. Second walls, and then uh, it's going to be second floor. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. So let's go back again. Go to edit mode, and we're going to subdivide that floor. Okay, and then we'll extrude it. Subdivide, 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 subdivide. Let's do our A key, and now let's get ready to extrude. Let's make our rooms. Okay, this is gonna be this is the second floor, so we got this is serious business. So I'm just gonna make remember to put a door. This is gonna have a big door. There we go. Two blocks big. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's just gonna have that room, and then I'm gonna have a just a random. I'm gonna have a long room here. Let's make a door and just a small little closet or something like that. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we can extrude these regions again. So let's get a good view. There we go. Good stuff. So we've got that floor done now. So again, let's go ahead, let's go to object mode and we're going to repeat the process for our third floor. So let's go ahead, let's hide uh, level two, reveal level three. Now we've got our, this is our last floor we've got to work with. Okay, so edit mode again, select that face, separate, press our P key by selection, rename, so this is gonna be third walls, Malls, and then that's going to be third floor. There we are. So now edit mode again, and we're gonna uh, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. There we go. And this is gonna be our last sort of set to make some rooms. So let's go ahead then. There we go. And make some cool rooms here. It's going to be a big room there. There we go. It's going to be sort of like an attic and some different bedrooms. So that'll be nice. So let's actually, let's do one or we'll divide this up one more time. Actually, let's make just a small closet there or bathroom, whatever. It's up to you. So let's go ahead then and do an extrude region. Set that flush with our walls. 
there we go. So now, when we, uh, if we'd want to, you can go ahead and reveal, you know, sort of the rest of your house. And in our next lesson, in part two of this, I'm going to show you how to render it so that we can see the entire house, all three floors. Okay, it's going to do with uh, have to do with setting different materials up. But for now, you're going to hand in this project just as a blend file. Okay, right now, if you would render this, you can see you can't see anything. Okay, I think right now my camera is actually inside one of these rooms, but you can't see anything. Uh, in our next lesson, we're going to show you how to uh, render it, uh, how to set the material so when it renders, uh, we can actually see what's going on. But for now, do a file, save as, and we're going to just call this house.blend. Okay, house.blend. And you can put it, you know, on your desktop or in your pictures folder. It really doesn't matter. Just be sure uh, you're able to find it, okay? But anyways, house dot blend just house dot blend okay so let's save it and then be sure to upload that to the forum and answer the questions that go along with it i wish you the best of luck with your work